It's disheartening to see that the love for Oblivion has diminished over time, and it's truly a sad reality. However, I refuse to accept this situation. In an effort to reignite the passion for Oblivion, I've decided to share with you the incredible mod collection that I personally use and enjoy. My hope is that by spreading awareness about these mods, we can inspire more people to appreciate the beauty of Oblivion once again. Before we proceed, I want to make it clear that I take no credit for the creation of these mods. They are the incredible works of talented individuals who have poured their hearts and souls into making Oblivion an even more extraordinary game. It's important to acknowledge and respect their hard work and dedication. While I wasn't able to obtain explicit consent from every single mod creator beforehand, I want to emphasize that I hold immense respect for their rights and wishes. If any of the creators express their objection to the sharing of this Wabajack file, I will promptly remove it from circulation out of respect for their creative endeavors. Let's embark on this journey together, rediscovering the wonders of Oblivion through this curated mod collection. Together we can foster a renewed love and appreciation for this timeless game. Remember, it's our collective enthusiasm and support that can breathe new life into Oblivion and ensure its enduring legacy. Join me in celebrating the beauty of Oblivion, and let's create a community that cherishes and uplifts this remarkable game. Together, we can make a difference and reignite the spark of love for Oblivion once more. First, we will brief you on how to install it. You will need five things first. The Elder Scroll IV Oblivion game and DLC, Mod Organizer 2, OBSC, and Oblivion Mod Manager. See the description for a link to this. And if everything is installed, download both files in Google Drive. Unzip Oblivion Simple Wabajack Edition in the folder where Mod Organizer 2 is installed. And unzip Oblivion INI to the folder where Steam Oblivion is installed. Then access Mod Organizer 2, Preferences. Check if the file path is set like the video now, and if not, enter it like the video and uncheck the Oblivion Korean mod. This is an Oblivion localization mod, but since you don't use Korean language, you don't need to use it. In order to run Oblivion, you must first run Game Companion, because in order to use the borderless screen, you must use this program first. If you run OBS afterwards, you can access Oblivion. If you cannot click on the main menu, run the Oblivion Mod Manager and run Utilities Archive Invalidation. In addition, there are cases in which the main menu is not clicked due to various reasons such as INI settings. Issues like this need to be addressed in a variety of ways through the community. You can switch the viewpoint to Shoulder View by pressing the P key in game. It is difficult to activate the object from the shoulder viewpoint. In this case, press the P key again to switch the point of view. Something I can help you. ENB is not included. You can download Oblivion-specific ENB from the ENB site, and you can lock on enemies by pressing the Z key. When an enemy dies, a loot menu is available. And importantly, enemies don't level up with you in this Oblivion. This means that all actors have a fixed level, and you will not be able to beat a bandit at level 1. Level up to about level 10 and try to become stronger. You can go to the Imperial sewers and kill rats or goblins. They are low level. Anyhow, I hope this helps you a lot, and if it was helpful, please like and subscribe. I will finish here. Enjoy the game.